I'm Raz Jenkins. Crystal Flotis. I'm Sue Ann Morrow. Amber Charade. Vic Ramos. Peter McSwigan. Tandy Cronin. Eric Garcetti, Mayor of the City of Los Angeles. I couldn't be prouder to welcome SAG-AFTRA to its first ever national convention. I'm not just the mayor of the city, I'm also a card-carrying member of the union. This is the first day of the SAG-AFTRA inaugural convention, essentially the founding convention of our new union, caused by the merger of Screen Actors Guild and the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Delegates, board members, of the whole deal are coming together to celebrate and to really serve the members of SAG-AFTRA. We're going to be able to, I think, make some advancements to make our union to be stronger as we go forward. We went a long way to get these two unions merged, so now this is the first time that we really get a chance to see it all come together. We're going to have four days of fun and games and working on resolutions, amendments, and all that stuff. This is a historic event. We're making history. I'm glad to be a part of it. We wanted to come out and show the flag. I am super, super, super excited to be part of it. It'll be the first time for a lot of us. Yeah. And I'm excited. I am so excited to be here. This is the, it's a historical first. There's so much excitement going on. Just ecstatic to be here in LA. I'm very excited to be here, my first convention. Believe it or not, I'm excited to be doing constitutional amendments and resolutions, but that's because, you know, I'm a little crazy. The inaugural convention of the Screen Actors Guild and American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, SAG-AFTRA, one union, will now come to order. First of all, I want to enjoy this historic convention where two great unions, SAG and AFRA, come together to make a more powerful union for all of its workers. What I hope to see is the feeling for members around the country that we really are one, that we work together, that we start doing the work of the merger. I really believe that this is the time. It's make it or break it time. The mission we have to combine both unions, to work together, to build a stronger union, I think that's the, that's the aim of everybody. As long as they serve the interests of artists, performers, you know, actors, and all the other wonderful uh, membership that we have, then uh, I'm all for it. We can't just continue to look inward, we have to look outward and bring in our friends, our progressive allies, all of our neighbors. I look forward to building the merger that we created, being one and fighting the good fight. It's fantastic to see that we're one union now and that we're going to fight to get our uh, future and, and our contracts together and uh, make us become a better union. We need to do that because that is what the world sees and if that's the way we're going to go and be able to have strength, we better start doing it right here. So that's what I'm going to hope we're doing it. In conversation from the leading edge, our panelists will discuss the technological change that is having a major impact on every field in which our members work. We're sitting here and we're about to start the press conference for the Williams Institute uh, Out Actor Survey and this is pretty exciting. We've been working on it for years. I'm about to go to a workshop, uh, script to screen programs. Everybody's sort of you know, running around, and it's really exciting. We're, We're excited. excited! This has been a incredibly remarkable experience for me because this is my first time. I am so excited to be at the first inaugural convention of SAG-AFTRA. This is going to be a blast, and we've learned so much already. Hi, everyone! <laughs> I love this convention. I'm having a fabulous time. Hi, I'm Wednesday Ryan, and I really enjoyed meeting everybody that was not from Los Angeles that came out to see us. So thank you for coming. I'm Ellen Crawford from Los Angeles. And I'm Mike Genovese, also from Los Angeles. And we came in here to this like information and uh, resource expo today. I'm so looking forward to this brand new experience with a brand new union, SAG-AFTRA. I've been a member since 1955, and uh, let's see where we go from here. Well, hello, SAG-AFTRA. How does that sound after all these years? Tonight we have several events. We are having the American Scene Awards. We're also celebrating the George Heller Memorial Gold Card, uh, which is a celebration of people who have given incredible service over the course of a career to the union. We are doing a special celebration. It's a secret for our two co-founding presidents. What else do we have tonight? It's a gala. The atmosphere is festive and people are here to celebrate the inaugural convention and just being here with members and colleagues from across the country, so it's great. New York in the house! What is the second largest local? Tell them where you're from. New York City. New York City, my hometown. Hi, Hello. we're the Seattle delegation. Just riding down the elevator and thinking about the fact that we're attending a wedding, a marriage of two incredible unions, and this is the first historic night of its new life. 
Hi, I'm Liz Graham from the Houston Austin local. It's very exciting to be part of the first convention of SAG AFTRA. I love my union. I'm Shea Scullin. I'm looking forward to the party, the food, fun, friends. I'm Mel McCarran, and I'm having a great time here tonight. Hi, this is the Chicago local. I'm Regan Rohde. I'm Nancy Sellers. I'm uh, I, I, uh, I'm Dwayne Hansen, the Portland, Oregon uh, president. I'm Sandra Karras, and I'm a delegate from New York. I'm Kim Renee from the Nevada branch. I'm Michelle. I'm president of New England Local, and this is our New England delegation. I, Bob Barron. <laughs> He's been to like 40 conventions, Bob Barron. Well, okay. yeah, I'm just yeah. Yeah, one of those old folk. Resolution Day. So we have got resolutions that have come in from around the country for people who want to make changes to the union, make changes to the Constitution, make changes uh, on a variety of issues. And they're going to put those issues on the floor, hash it out with one another, take a vote, and then we move on. And then we're going to send our uh, delegates on their way back to their hometowns, motivated, energized, in order to take the spirit of the union back home.